my goal here is to give you nine, if you will, nine items that uh, nine problems in project. And these are common. So let me start off by just giving you a little bit more info here about me. Here I am. Um, I'm a, a senior trainer at the Versal Company. And um, uh, you can see by the picture that uh, I'm a graybeard. Been around a long time, saw a lot of issues in, in the discipline of project management, portfolio management, and of course in the tools of project management. leveling resources without any analysis whatsoever. I have seen this occur time and again in visits to sites. Here we go. What we're looking at now is a just a set of tasks. Um, uh, tasks 7 through 10 in our list here on the third summary. Level resources with an analysis. There are endless permutations to task definitions and resource definitions. And what drives the schedule? Allow me to show you this. I'm just going to use the tasks themselves, no summaries, and I'll assign a resource. Again, I'm going to assign myself. The resource, me, working on four tasks concurrently has driven the over allocations. And project is, uh, is happy to tell me what the problem is, that the task is over allocated. So a lot of folks say, OK, look, you know, the thing is, this tool is marvelous. It's got this magic button that resolves conflicts. And so they'll click on the level selection and they'll go right on into the next phase or next uh, set of tasks without ever looking at the results. Now, this is a Gantt chart. It's the most popular view in MS Project. But I will encourage you to not use it in leveling. I would encourage you to use a different type of Gantt chart in leveling to help you understand things like delay, where it is, which tasks have it. And then I'll also show you one other aspect of this to watch out for. So the chart that I like to use when I'm leveling is called a leveling Gantt. Now I'll just roll this up again so we don't see everything here. Wow. That looks like a busy Gantt chart. What the heck is going on? Well, without analysis, we see bars move. You saw that occur in leveling. With a little bit of analysis and the help of a specific view, check out what you can see. So let me describe this. These kind of uh, washed out gray bars, that is the pre-leveled position of the tasks in the timeline. The colored bars are representing the current schedule of the task in the timeline. The gold bar right here is representing the amount of leveling delay imposed in order to reduce the overallocation or eliminate it. And this, uh, this little tiny bar on the back is telling you how much farther a task can be delayed how much fur further it can be delayed in your timeline. So you're getting a snapshot here of what happened when you leveled your project. So in terms of schedule and in terms of delay, it's called the leveling Gantt. I encourage you to have a look at this. Now, uh, notice also that the leveling delay field is represented here, showing you how many days tasks had to be delayed in order to accommodate. The other thing that should have caught your eye here is the pattern that project chose. In other words, the first task, task 7, was delayed the furthest, task 8, next furthest, and so on. 
So there was some type, something in, in action here, some type of, of, of uh, uh, property facilitated this leveling exercise. So what the heck could it be? This is showing you the effects. To find out what happened, you'd have to look at the individual task properties. You would double click on a task. I'll double click on task seven here. Then I'll bring up the task information dialog. On the general tab, I can see a great deal of information, but one thing that catches my eye over here is the priority of the task. This is telling project the priority of the activity for leveling purposes. The numbers go from one to a thousand, one being the least priority, a thousand being the highest priority. So the uh, project team elected to make 500 the default, which is middle of the road. This one has a higher priority, okay? But it was still the first one that was pushed out. Let's go to the next task, and I'll show you why. It's because I chose increasing levels of priority for each task. So task 7 was 600, task 8 was 700, task 9, uh, uh, nine, whatever, 800 or 900, and then last, the highest priority was task 10. Task 10's priority of 900 was essentially do not level project, leave this task in place. So you can prioritize, but in project, prioritization is, uh, is used in leveling the tasks themselves. Be careful. Use a little analysis after and during the leveling of your task.